My name is Colin Furs and welcome back to the World of Tanks Screw Tank Project. Now, if you haven't seen this, it's one of my favourite projects. Go onto the channel, there's four of the videos. Subscribe, click the notifications on and you can see how I've built a screw tank from the ground up. Now then, one of the advantages of screw tanks is they can float. Only mine doesn't yet. So, we do need to do something about this, don't we? Yeah, we've got to shift the weight distribution forward and we've got to add a little bit more buoyancy and that is what we're going to do in this video. Now, don't forget the sponsor, World of Tanks. Millions of people playing this game. They're, as like we are adding stuff to our tank, they add stuff to the game too. Now, if you use the old promo code, Tanktastic, you can get yourself a free tank, 500 gold bits to spend on the tank and in the game, and seven days premium access. <laughs> Boom, support them, they're making it all possible. Right then, let's go and make this tank float, Colin. Ah, oh, boy, ah! So, improve the centre of gravity, move the seat forward, move the levers forward, turn the engine round and put the oil tank behind the seat. Basically what we need to do now to make this float is make this bottom bit into a boat. So we need to give it like a base and a kind of a keel or a hull or whatever it's called. And to do that we've got the bead roller, bolted it to the floor. I've made a flat bead for the bottom here and then we're going to use that as like a bender or as a guide to bend the sheet to go under there. We've had a little test, it seems to work, it's all good. Too fast, don't need that gas, it's just a lot cause why would I change for you? She told me switch it up, switch it up, yeah. Right, that's kind of made like a, a top chassis, which our little tub's gonna come up and weld to. But before we get too far, I'm gonna make the bit that goes on the top, so I'm gonna put the engine back in kind of make that and then make that like a separate piece that comes off and then do some stuff. You talk like I move too fast, don't need that gas, it's just a life cause why would I change for you? Switch it up, switch it up, yeah. So A bit more tank like now, I'd say. Alrighty, mm, uh, that's this top bit done. Now it's a separate piece. I did put some mesh on it, but I don't even like it. So I'm going to get the boat bit done, the bottom of this tank and all sorted, and then we'll we'll look at it after that because I think it looks a bit sparse at the moment. Can't make a proper judgment on it. Right, let's get all that welded up, and made, sew it on, then we'll probably take it to the river and give it a float test as well. Mm. <laughs> Like a bullet, she feels the love if they won't let her have it. 
Come on, use your strength, use your power. Come on, you keep saying you're going to destroy me and you've got power. Welding's done, seat's back in, engine's fitted in, bolt the screws back on, dunk it in the river, see if it leaks, see if it floats, and then whatever happens from there, we'll just have to deal with it, won't we, Colin? Yes, we will. We will have to deal with it. We'll have to drag it out the bottom. It might. We might never see it again. <laughs> few bits of water coming in the back there, but we think that might be through the bolts. It's a bit rear heavy. I think I need to get in and sit in it. And you know those words you drive me insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's still rear heavy as hell. Still, yeah, we've got a bit of water going in the drums. I can see the bubbles coming out the top. Well, it does float, it's just the weight distribution is still a little bit rearward and we've got a few leaks. So, we've filled the tub up with water so we can see where the little pinholes are. We've welded them up, we've also given it a lick of paint. The screws, they got quite a bit of water in them, so we've gone around all the seams now, all the bolts, sealed them all up, so hopefully it's going to be a bit better. We've also added a little flotation buoyancy adaption to the back just to try and lift it up a little bit and try and get it a little bit more level. I think we're under a winner here. We're sitting a lot more level. It's not filling up with water. We've not got bubbles coming out of anything. I'd say that is a win, people. Right. Hydraulics got to go back in there. Make it work. She's finished, got a paint job, looks a bit more tank-like. Hydraulics in, new oil tank, fantastic. Fits in there a treat. But is it gonna flow? Is it gonna propel itself in the water? Is it gonna be the ultimate all-terrain vehicle? World of Tanks have got all sorts of trains in their game, so this has gotta be able to do the same thing. Let's have a go. We've got a bog, let's hit it. Okay, it's past the swamp test, but it's not actually floating because it's sitting in the mud, so we need to take it to some deeper water. Let's get out of here first, eh?
Oh, you can't fault this machine. It is fantastic. Okay, we're nearly there. In terms of its off-road capabilities and driving and stuff, I'm happy with it. It's exactly where I'd want it to be. But Colin, you've not finished, have you? It's not got a weapon on it. No, we need to mount something on it. We've got to be able to fire some stuff. Now, you've requested flamethrowers and potato guns seems to be the top answer. So I think we're going to go with one of them. Probably a potato gun, but I don't want it to be just be a normal potato gun. No, I want it to be a furs potato gun, which hopefully will be better than a normal potato gun. Yes. Now then, don't forget to sponsor. Use your promo code, Tantastic. Get all your free stuff. Go and check the game out. It's very historical. They've got hundreds of... Foul, I think it's 500 tanks they've got it. You know, ew, can't even talk. There's like 500 tanks in the game. It's like, it's a massive game. So, but, you know, support them. They're supporting the channel. They're making this on this possible. And I'll see you in the next video, people. Yeah. <laughs>